Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I have a fun Blitz game I'd like to share with you that was played on the Internet Chess Club on April 28th, 2015, and you're going to like it. <laughs> uh, this is, in my estimation, one of the most cunning queen traps you'll find out of the opening. And it is a trap that still to this day catches many strong players. I'm reminded of this game because Maxim Delugi's name has recently been in the news, and this particular trap always stuck with me. It's a brief game. It's only a 16 mover. This is a three-minute game with a two-second increment. On the white side, Maxim Delugi with a blitz rating of 3,131, and his opponent goes by the username Tricky Mate. Blitz rating 1,400. Let's see the game. We have a Budapest defense, known for its many traps. Knight f3 is the most popular reply, far and away. And I think a great part of the appeal with this trap is how quickly the trap is set. Only after four moves, the trap is in place. Is there any move that's tempting you now as white? Feel free to pause the video. What might you play here? Okay, here we go. Move played in the game. Queen d5, striking the two unprotected pieces. This is not best. One of the better moves is a3, negating any lines connected with the bishop check on b4. All right, in this game, it's queen d5. The best continuation for black is to give a check and after a block to capture on d4 and then play knight c6. However, I guess we're going to have a little fun here and see the queen trap in action. This is what black goes for. Bishop b7. So is that bishop free? Yes, but it's not so easy to know the refutation. Um, bishop b7, let me say, first of all, is a clear case of black playing hope chess. Black is hoping, white is not clever enough to find the refutation. So this is not a a line I would recommend you play in a serious game, but if you're looking to just have a little fun, blitz, bullet game, casual, you get the idea. I think you'll find more often than not, white gets their queen trapped. <laughs> okay, move played in the game, queen takes bishop, knight c6 follows, and this is right around the point where white probably knows, whoa, I don't have a whole lot of options there for my queen, and right around the corner, knight c5, and my queen is gonzo. Uh, there is a refutation. What move would you play here to maybe try and save the queen? White to move. Feel free to pause the video. What would you play here? Okay. The way to refute this line is to play knight d4. That's the best move. And the one of the ideas is to meet knight takes knight with queen takes knight. And she's there just in the nick of time to stop a follow-up fork on c2. There is a trickier line. After knight d4 and the bishop check, the best move is knight c3. White is still winning. This is a hard move to maybe play, seeing that there is two attackers and only one defender, but white is winning with this line here. Knight takes knight. There is no wonderful discovery. Knight takes bishop would follow. So the line goes like this. And there is now only one winning move for white. Everything else is losing. The winning move, bishop d2. And this basically neutralizes all the pressure. Smoke ends up clearing something like this. White is the winning side with about a plus two advantage. Okay, that is not an easy line to find over the board. We're playing hope chess with this bishop b7 move. Move played in this game. If you pick the move queen a6, that's a losing move, but don't feel too bad. Because on the Lee Chess database, just a, a quick example of the 1300 games, more than half the players picked queen to a6. Right, we're trying to run away really fast. In, in case of knight c5, for example, not the move played in the game, but if knight c5, ah, we could go to a3, the bishop isn't covering that. And we wouldn't have to worry about the check on d3 because there's queen takes knight. 
seems like her queen would be saved, and she is with this line. However, black and first play check on b4. And after the block, move played in the game, knight c5 now. The queen can now not make use of a3. She goes to b5. And I think when I initially went through this game years back, I thought to myself, oh, okay, you're getting the queen, but you know, white is tracking down a bunch of minor pieces. This is not the case. I was thinking at this point you play a6, but white would be able to, white would be winning if you went with a6. White would have two bishops, a knight, and a pawn versus the queen. The idea here is that black doesn't need the bishop anymore in order to trap the queen. Can first exchange on d2, the move played in the game, and only after the recapture, a6. And she's a goner. Where do you go? Both knights cover all retreat squares. So, queen takes knight follows. The imbalance, what do we have? It's uh, two minor pieces and a pawn. Uh, knight, bishop, and a pawn versus the queen. This is completely winning for black. You could go as far back as move seven. After queen a6, the game's already over. The queen will be trapped. That's a fast trap. You know, very Again, a very cunning queen trap out of the opening. Play follows with queenside castles. We end up having both sides queenside castle. Bishop g2, f6. Queen takes f6. Rook in the center, and just one more move. Can you spot it? Black's next move forces resignation. Feel free to pause the video. Okay, here we go. Knight a4. Game over. White resigns. No good solution to queen takes b2, mate. All white could play are moves that are silly. Blocking the queen from getting to b2. Knight e5, you just take. Bishop check, you duck. Pick your favorite move. Queen takes b2 next. Game over. Okay, this is a very sharp <laughs> trap. Very quick game. Uh, for fun here, we could have a look still at the tail the tape. There we go. And I, it's one of the things I like to point out with this graph, I think there's an issue with it. I was debating whether or not to share it with you. But I s still think that there's still useful information here. Bishop b7, I'm pretty sure, should be registering as a blunder, but it's not. Um, outside of that move, I think everything else is pretty clean there. You get you still uh, you still get an idea as to the the accuracy, inaccuracies, mistakes, and blunders for each side. Senti pawn loss. Uh, if we look at the inaccuracies here for Delugi, yeah, didn't like the queen d5 move instead, a3 instead. But um, yeah, pretty cool trap. Uh, one other thing you may find interesting about this game is how quickly it was played by Team Black. Tricky mate. Only 35 seconds was spent for the entire game. And that's from a, a 1400 player. So pretty impressive, I guess we can say, with uh, this game played by Tricky Mate. Anyhow, feel free, as usual, to leave any feedback to this video in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed it. And I don't know, good luck maybe trying this on your own just to have some fun. No serious games with Bishop B7. Anyhow, that's all for now. Take care.